it's amazing when when me and her may be walking in the public, you know, people are always coming up to us, and then I always get this oh, but you better be careful. You're married to to a boxer, she'll knock you. But you you see that humble, beautiful woman there, a great person in society, right? And she has accumulated so many fans, more so. I find Bermuda came out in full force when it came to our last fight. It was unbelievable. Unbelievable, you know. And I, I can say that when we came from Trinidad, right, you know, even the government came, came, you know, out in full support, you know. And I knew that this would help her confidence going into the next fight, you know. And I, I got to give the Bermudian fans the credit, you know, because everywhere she went, you know, people was hailing up, saying, let's go, Therese, let's do this, you know, get it over and done with, you know. So... I can say that her, her fan base is growing bigger, bigger, bigger and better, you know, to the fact that I know that she's going to make everybody happy again in her next fight, you know, because she will be ready. That, it was the most amazing feeling of all the fights I've had. Um, that was the best. And it totally, the crowd, when I looked out, usually I don't even know what's happening around me. I'm getting in the ring. And I was focused, but it was like this happiness. I wanted, I wanted to see everybody there because it, it didn't distract me. And the, the mixture of people, black, white, young, old, I had my clients that come from massage that would never dream of watching boxing. We're just like, I couldn't miss it. I didn't want to go, but I couldn't miss it. So it was, it was great. And you know, the promoter really, he put on such an amazing event. They always put on a good show. And um, I know government, a lot of local companies, Gorham's, Dunkley's, everybody just came out and supported. So that's what's helped. They've stepped up again and it's helping make this next, it couldn't have happened without sponsorship. So I know we're still working on trying to get some more, but I mean, it's, it's getting there. Well, you know, she, she makes a living on her hands on thing, right? She is a massage person, right? Okay, she is a boxer. But I can say this much that, you know, when it comes to our job, she is the lovingest person out. But when it comes to boxing, she switches. But I have, again, have to give my wife credit because you know what? She's built this up on her own. She, hey, I'm telling you, she's had a little bit of help in her, but her mind controlment of, of running her business and boxing, Hey, it's strong. It's strong. You know, she's just a strong-minded woman. I give her hundred percent credit. And you know, and like me as her husband, I have how I have how I got a massage. But hey, that's cool. I'm always massaging her. But that comes with the territory, you know. And then when it comes to the boxing, I support her hundred percent. I wouldn't get in the ring with her, no. But you know, sometimes I say, "Hon, I need a massage." She's like, "There's some done people there. I can't help you." <laughs>